All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first LP that is new in quite some time. Um, I've tried to record this like three times now, and I can't get the sound to balance out, so hopefully I got it now. Um, this is Deja Vu. It's on the NES. Um, this was recommended by Yuma Kitty. Um, this was originally on the uh, Apple Macintosh Plus in 1985. It's a point-and-shoot adventure, which is uh, not point-and-shoot, uh, point-and-click adventure, so sort of like Zork with pictures, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, let's play, and I'm going to read everything in Crazy Voices, because that's what we do. You are waking from a stupor that feels like a chronic headache after a week in Vegas. You notice your right palm is covered with dried blood, but you can neither see nor feel any wound which is about to be contradicted in the next sentence. You feel a sharp pain on your left forearm. Rolling up the sleeve, you find a tiny puncture on your arm. Oh my god. Has a doctor injected me with a medicine? Well, that sentence doesn't make sense. Then you realize you can't remember who you are. You have no idea where you are and why you're here. You have no memory, dot dot dot, whatsoever, two exclamation points. Okay, cool, so that's what's going on. We wake up totally gone, and utterly confused in a bathroom stall. So let's check out a trench coat that matches our trousers. Okay. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. Let's find out what it is. Open the pocket. Sweet, let's check all this shit out, man. It's a quarter. Well, that's not interesting at all. It's a gold-plated lighter. It has the initials JS on it. Okay? It's a piece of chewing gum. It's sugarless, of course. Mm-hmm, that's a... That's a clever little haha there. It's a handkerchief with the initials JS, but not in quotes this time on it. Well, this JS guy is apparently important. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's someone else. Maybe it's your uncle. It looks like a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, I got that from the name there. The lenses are very dark. Cool. Moving on. Doesn't say anything about the wallet except like it looks expensive. Okay, right. Open the wallet. Hey, more shit. Let's see what's going on. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Damn it. Alright. It's a key with the word office inscribed on it. Sweet, let's find an office. It's a card with several holes punched into it. It says, private access, card, penthouse, seagull. I don't understand why this card has punches on it. It's not like a buy one, get one card at Subway. Like, it's private access to a penthouse. I don't know. It's a $20 bill. Anyway, I mean, I'm sure we'll figure out what this, what's in this penthouse that seagull has private access to. Whatever. I wonder if Siegel could be a last name and that could have something to do with his initials JS all over everything. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, let's tediously take all this stuff. It's like three minutes to take each item. Most of the stuff is useless, actually, but I might as well just grab everything. And you don't have to take stuff off that. You can grab this coat here. Alright. Oh my god! Oh, I clicked off screen, sorry. There's nothing more handy than a 38 at your side. Except maybe a 357 SIG at your side, or if you're, like, in the jungle, an M16 at your side, or etc. But, whatever. Let's get the fuck out of here.
this washroom really needs a good clean. Oh, it didn't give... It normally makes this terrible joke about the janitor's union being on strike and stuff. That's a shame. I like making, making fun of that. Anyway, let's look at this mirror, and... Ah! You see yourself in the mirror. You again realize with horror that you can't remember who you are, and half of your face glows purple and emits light, and there's a question mark shining beneath you, and the world's creepiest music pours forth. Well, that was strange. Still not sure what that it has to do with anything. Whatever. Let's get out of the restroom. Really feel we've spent enough time in the pizza. You're in a dingy hallway. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's water coming out from that door. It's probably important. It's actually not, but look what's going on and find out what's going on. You're in the woman's washroom. Haha, <laughs> cool. I'm a little boy. Women's restrooms have to be exciting. Let's go in the stall. <laughs> Alright. You're in an empty stall. You see a crack by the toilet with water coming out of it. The toilet has a fresh crack in it. The water leaks from it and ends up in the hallway. Well, cool. Let's stop snooping around women's restrooms now. What do you say? That's just strange. Let's go, for, let's go for out of here. There is nothing unusual about this hallway. Cool. I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Open the door. You're in dark empty bar, and by dark they mean there's light coming in from everywhere and it's mostly white and blue. Obviously the bar is closed, or else you've scared everyone away. And since that second choice doesn't make any sense, we'll go with closed. Alright, what do we got in the bar over here? Some sort of green drink? Checklist full of seltzer? Seltzer? Like, really? Not absinthe? Okay. So let's drink it. Let's drink the seltzer. Because that's what cool people do. Is drink seltzer. And use it on myself, bitch. You quickly down the seltzer. Ugh, this stuff tastes terrible. Why would anyone drink this stuff? I don't know. I don't know anyone who just sits around drinking seltzer, so I really can't answer that question. You are in the upstairs hall leading to a door. On the wall, there's some posters of fighters, and... Yeah! You feel very dazed, and you're still glowing, glowing purple. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weird. That doesn't make sense. You feel like you have been up for many days without any sleep. Only worse. Weird. I really am enjoying this game, I'm just joking. I love pointing out flaws in games and weirdness, but this is so much fun. It's a poster of some boxer named Doghouse Riley. Hells yeah. Is my name Doghouse Riley? It's a poster of Puff McMuffin. Okay. But look, this poster is like almost hard to click on, like way back here. I wonder if there's some reason for that. Let's... Oh, oh, ah! It looks like a poster of you. But then, you can't remember who you are. The name underneath says, Ace Harden. Doesn't ring a bell. But it'd be sweet if it was her name, because... Ace Harding's pretty badass and kind of noirish, so... Open the door. I open the door. Let's go in. You're in a reception room. Or secretary's office, which is often the same thing. The odor of cheap perfume still lingers in the air. 
Also, the odor of the Jeep's 10 minute limit approaching seems to be lingering in the air, I think. I'm not timing it, I don't know. So, faithful viewers, and by faithful I mean random people who are stumbling off the street to do this. Peace, and thanks to Unikitty for suggesting this. I will be back soon with part two.